What's going on? I'm the College Jew. Welcome back to Let's Play Crystalis. Now we have two sacred shields. We have... No, I'm not gonna do it. HC Bailey does the, uh... Sesame, Sesame Street Vampire thing enough. <laughs> He's gonna do, uh, you know, full two sacred... Two, two sacred shields. And you get the rest. Yeah, so let's keep going through Goa. <laughs> As we go up for it. Paralysis bullshit doesn't work on me now. I have the power of two sacred shields. Uh, be at level 14. I think I've already said it enough times, but hell. All these skeletons, like, crumble and get up every time you hit them, so... They're gonna be pricks about it. Uh, I think all the other, uh, of the uh, finest four can be... Hurt at level 13, but this final, this final one, you gotta be at level 14 to beat him. So you just get more, you get maximum HP, and you know all that good shit. And then after this, I may, I may as well just go ahead and get to max level. The enemies here are actually pretty uh. Lucrative. You can get some good experience points off of them, but uh, there, there's a. I guess I guess you can grind here if you really wanted to. You could grind. You could definitely grind here. You know, just you could do the stairs things. Go up that stairs and kill that spider and repeat, rinse and repeat, and get some epic experience points. But eh, I mean, there's a final town we're gonna be getting to, and the, and and that has a cave right next to it where you can just get whatever experience points you want. Uh, we gotta cross a stupid platform thing. I really hate these platforms. They suck. Suck shit. What? I hate them. And yes, I'm gonna cuss belligerently at them. The stupid... Stupid shadow that's like flashing because there's so much shit on the screen. What the hell? What is this slime doing in here? Oh, it's Kensu. Yeah, what he's saying is that, uh... Carmine's the last, uh, boss of this place. Uh, and Carmine does this thing where he can shoot at you, and he can transform you into a monster. That looks like the one that Kensu just transformed into. So, that's that fruit of repun. Uh, that's a, yeah, that's what that is for. It's for recovering from that if you get hit by it. And that's a goddamn mimic. And we just got hit by magic draining... Magic draining mucus. By two of them. Well, goddamn. Magic ring. Damn it. That sucks. That really sucks. And we have to use cover. God! Mimic again? God damn! Ah! Enough mimics! Get me out of here. Alright, let's see. You have to go down here! Fuck. Across here, I mean. But instead, I went back down here. That's okay. Because I forgot to get that anyway, so that's good. Magic ring in that treasure chest. You can save it for later if you want. And this is going to be... Oh, another item. I think it's Fruit of Repun, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or... It's another... No, I think it's another Opal statue. Let me make a safe state. And let's see what's up. Warp boots. To hell with you! Warp boots. Warp boots! In a level 14 area. That's like the game just saying. That's like the game just saying, haha, you threw away or used a really good item that was probably in your possession to get work boots. You failed. Oh, big clearing, you know what that means. Boss time. Now. Yeah, have refresh ready, because he is fucking strong. 
uh, you can either have the power ring equipped or the shield ring equipped. Cause yeah, look at look at what he uh, he fires all these projectiles at you, and if you're not really quick about dodging them like I am, then they're gonna get hit by him, and then he slams in you. And that thing that I just fired there, that will transform you into a monster. And no, I will not demonstrate that, and I'm about to get killed. There we go. Yeah, see, yeah. The shield ring is definitely useful in this in this fight, because his attacks are very, very powerful. And then we got magic ring for the win. I guess the iron necklace also you can have. Watch out for that thing. Because he, he does slam in you, but the power ring is better because it'll make the fight a lot shorter. And let me guess, every statue? Yep. And if you go over here, you get the storm bracelet. Nice! And that allows you to do your level 3 uh, thunder attack. Oh, the bullets uh, went away too from those statue things. Hmm. The uh, level 3 thunder attack is really good. It costs like 50 MP, but it just, it just, it, it, it hits everyone on, every enemy on the screen. So, yeah, it's really good. Gonna need it for the fight against Dragonia, which is gonna be in a couple of, in, yeah, I think the next episode. So, yeah, there you go. What did he say? Something about, well, yeah. Basically, he said that Dragon has the uh, power to call the tower, but... I mean, Messia has the power to call it. But make sure that Dragon doesn't make her do it. For his uh, greed. But yeah, we learned the flight spell, and basically, you can fly. <laughs> you can fly over water, and over... Uh, and over pits, and over some other stuff that you couldn't... That you couldn't keep get past before. You can also bypass Poison Marsh with it, like I just did. We got the Fruit of Power, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the Oasis Cave, if you haven't noticed. Uh, next episode, we're gonna get some stuff and go after Dragon, who has ran away, apparently. Peace.